my name is Ross Hilgers. I've been at Concordia since 1998, and I'm a professor of art. As we progress technologically, and even socially, I think we've gained a lot, but there tends to be a, a, a greater emphasis on rational thinking. And I think rational thinking is wonderful. I mean, we need it in a lot of things, but art offers this this haven in a way to not think rationally, to do things that are unusual or to follow an instinct. And there are very few venues in our culture where you can, you can do that. Um, and I, I guess that's what attracts me to it and I kind of hope it attracts students too. And I try to teach that in a way. In my inquiry class, one of the main components to understanding creativity is, it, is to accept mistakes as not being mistakes. And so, to me, mistakes are just gold mines for taking me somewhere that I would not normally go. I think that what's most fascinating is that artists are not uh, in this pigeonhole. I mean, it's not something you can categorize. And I think that's, uh, in, in general, society likes to do that. Like, to say, oh, you're an artist, so you're this. And, and that liberal arts is a much more sophisticated way of learning. And it does embrace the fact that the artist is also someone who's fascinated in uh, maybe botany or athletics or whatever. And, and the students who come here understand that very quickly, that when they're working in the ceramics room or in the painting studio or whatever it may be, that they're bringing to that a variety of things. And so what we try to do is get students to, to not skim off the top and say, I'm just going to do this art thing because this is the part that I'm good at, but try to dig into all those things that make up a life. I think that's part of what makes the liberal arts enriching.